Good morning, this is Mr. Ramsey B, and welcome back to Terraria esque Tuesday. Today we're taking another look at Starbound here. Um, I did a little bit of extra. Um, wasn't able to get up to the point where we're doing the first boss yet, but um, I did go and get some extra stuff, and we're gonna we're gonna see if we can upgrade our bow. We need a little bit more iron. Uh, let's see. Can we upgrade? Can we upgrade anything? Copper, copper pick. No, no, we can't. Can't upgrade anything yet. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go down to the planet again. We're gonna look for more copper. We're gonna look for more iron. We'll go this way again. Again, I just, I, I absolutely love the music. one thing that's really cool is I actually got permission from the Starbound people that I don't have to talk over all the music anymore, which is nice. They, they said that, uh, you know, I'm making... Oh, we got a treasure chest here. Do we? Yeah, we did see this one. Now, one thing I did find, I found it in a um, in an Apex tr uh, powered treasure chest. It's a dash. A dash ability, which... If not done correctly, it can be rather annoying. Thankfully, um, in previous in previous versions of the beta, I've got I've I've had quite a bit of practice with the dash. I had the dash for quite a while. Copper. So we need copper to upgrade our pick. And we're gonna need. Um, <clears throat> quite a bit of iron and quite a bit of silver to to get our better armor. Well, the iron the iron is not so much for the armor, but for other items that we're gonna need, maybe for better weapons and whatnot. Unless we find just find some better weapons, which if that's the case, then that's even better. I don't know why I'm digging out this stone right here because it never hurts to have a little extra stone. We're gonna need quite a bit of stone when we come up against the the first boss because we got to build ourselves a little a little safety area oh man I'm, I'm I'm kicking these guys butts we're okay on plant fiber for now yeah we need a lot of copper and I'm thinking we may not find too much there's some silver Thinking we may not find enough copper in, like on the surface, so we may have to go spelunking. These bugs are passive, which you would think just by the look at them that they would be quite aggressive, but they're not. And we're gonna land right in the poison. Ah, no good. Uh, and that's a lot of iron down there. So we're gonna dig down, drain out this poison. drain out this poison here and get over to that l rather large iron deposit. Thank you to everyone who has wished me good health in the past couple days. I appreciate it. And the poison is now gone. Oh man, this is a lot of iron here. Yes! We hit the jackpot. Now one thing that I found out, which is really nice, is um, your pickaxe doesn't break if it runs out of durability. Um, it, uh, it just becomes dull. So you can still mine with it, just not nearly as fast. It, probably, it slows down... Maybe a little bit, a little bit, um, just a hair faster than the matter manipulator. But we're talking like maybe half a second faster, which is not really worth even noting as calling it faster. We're just gonna drain out some more of this poison here. 
because my monkey don't like getting poisoned. I just realized how bad that sounds. Oh, I did not think I was going to be able to jump that. Poison's gone. Got a lot of coal here. We're probably going to end up going off to another planet. We're probably going to end up go traveling to another planet. We've got more than enough coal to be able to power our... Um, our ship to get to another planet and I'm pretty sure I mean how I, I didn't even really explain this in the last episode because we didn't have any fuel to to begin to explain it and we're now out of food actually I think we're out of food let me check nope we got some we gotta cook it So let's go ahead and grab this coal here and get some more fuel for the ship. That's one of the primary purposes of coal. Is 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 our engines are faster than light engines run on coal. Which if I'm not mistaken, there are some more efficient power sources later on in the game. Oh, there's a piece of silver right here. I didn't even I almost didn't see that. But just as there are different biomes in Minecraft, there are different planetary biomes. Whoa, hello. We got telekineticized. Headshot. And some extra meat. Ooh, and there's some gold right here, too. I really like the dynamic music. It's done very, very well in in this game here. Let's grab a little bit of extra coal. I know we grabbed a, a chunk of gold. I see some more iron over here. I see a big iron deposit over here. So this is good. I don't know what it is about this music, but it makes me feel emotions. And I know how stupid that sounds, but there's no, I, I can't describe it any other way. Oh no! First death. We're in a back to tank being rebuilt. Ermager! And I'm a naked monkey! So what happens when you die, I had 540 before, as you'll notice, I'm down to 377 now. So we got to get back over there. Got to get back over there, because there was materials over there that, that we could definitely be using. And yeah, I do see the coal over there. I'll... I'll I'm, that's two pieces of coal. I'm not going to spend too much time trying to get it. Oh, I didn't realize my health was so low. Otherwise, I would have used some bandages. Oh, little pixel uh, container there I didn't notice before. Keep forgetting that I've got the tech... Whoa! Come on, fuck nut. There you go. 
You are mine now. You are my beach. I apologize for the language. What is that? There's, um... Oh, toxic plants. Yeah, this area is not very good for anything, anyone that's non-Florin. Toxic plants cannot be eaten by anybody but Florins. And I do see the coal over there. We're ignoring that for now. Didn't look like there was too much there. We want to find an area that's suitable for the Apex. Which are the monkey guys? Oh, now that would have been a cool shot. Yeah, it's... Uh oh. There we go. <laughs> Stuck in a wall. Alright, here's where we died before. I think this is where we died. Yeah, this is near where we died before. It may have been exactly where. Keep accidentally switching to the bow. Come on, there we go. That was kind of... Kind of iffy. Oh! Oh, 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 there's some copper. And here's some gold. Don't really need gold yet, but, you know, why not get it? Get it while it's here. You know, if you want really fast mining... What you want to do is you want to find a desert biome, or a desert planet. Okay, that's enough of those guys there. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna beam back up and we're gonna smelt up our stuff. Fifty-eight bars, and I, I, I don't, I still don't like that it takes two ores to make one bar. I don't like that, but you know, what are you going to do? I just realized the TV's still going in the background. Let me turn that off. My little girl loves Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. So these are... Those are smelted up. We now have 29 more bars. For a total of 41. That's pretty good. We have three more copper bars, which means I still don't think we have enough to upgrade our pick yet, but we might. It's either six or eight. I don't remember. Oh, this is cool. This is new. If you hold down control, move the mouse, you can kind of look around. That's neat. I didn't know it did that. Okay, so... Ah, the gold. One thing that I find slightly annoying is... Let's make some torches. We're going to need them. There we go. 125 torches. In order to upgrade... Um, your your stone pick. Oh no, this is just me. So, what are we doing? My brain just went blank on me. My brain totally just derped on me. <laughs> Why 
My brain just said, oh, you want to know what you're doing? You cannot know. All right, let's, um... Ah, oh, yes, here we go. Um, copper pick. We need one more copper bar. Really? Oh, iron hunting bow. We have everything but the bow. Which, we have a bow. <coughs> Excuse me. So, let's go ahead and upgrade to the iron hunting bow, because it does more damage. Stick that on there. And what I really want to do is I really, really, really want to do a sword and shield type deal. Scooch this over here because we have a shield. It doesn't have a description set. This guy needs to have a description set. Ah, I really want to be able to make... Okay, so we do need to make the copper in order to make the, the um, racial armor. So, what we're going to do, a little ape sticker, <laughs> we're going to find the one-handed weapon that has the, the highest damage per swing and the highest DPS. 10 DPS, 5 damage per swing, it's a knife, which is just like a little stabby motion. I prefer an over-the-head or a, a longer-range stabby stab. That's two-handed. That axe is two-handed. Man, we're kind of proud of... No, that's a spear. So it looks like we're going to go with the little ape sticker. Which... I made it. Where'd it go? Oh, it stuck it up here. So we're going to put that there. We're going to move the bow to number six the shield in the right hand because I'm left handed boom boom I don't even know why these are in the bar they don't need to be in the bar let's see what we got now we got There we go. And I, real quick, I'm going to change one of the control schemes on my gaming cluster for this because if we have a shield in one hand and a sword in the other, we don't want to be switching weapons with an accidental push of a button and end up uh, attacking when we're meaning to be blocking. Okay, yes, this is the real one. So we're going to on a sign. There we go. We'll move that. Okay. Oh yes. I forgot we need to cook up this meat. If we're going to be going into the world, probably want to dump this coal into into our engine as well. We do this by going to here. So now we have 86 out of a thousand fuel. I think now's a good time. Oh, we're right next to a desert planet, but let's not go there just yet. Let's go ahead and find random. Let's see what we got. We got a moon, snow biome, and snow biome. Moon biomes are usually pretty good. They're usually pretty high. We don't have enough fuel to get there. So where where are we? Let's X out of this. Go back in. Yeah, we'll go to the desert. And here we go. We're going to spin up the FTL drive. Autopilot's activated. I don't know why we're going FTL when we're in orbit around the other planet. 
And now we're going faster than light. We can exit our chair. Take a nap. Sleep our way to the next place. So your health is slowly going up. You can't skip this, by the way, but I think it looks kind of cool. Ships automatically flying, flying herself. FTL drive is spooling down, and we're going to slowly enter standard orbit around the planet. Ships automatically making adjustments. There's the planet we were just on right there. And... There we go. His eyes are still closed. There we go. Warp down to the planet. Let's see what we got going on. Okay, so now we know that these guys are hostile. Oh jeez, there's two of them here. I like how it's got a little bit of knockback to it. This is, a, this is a good sword. I like this sword. So this is sand. Oh, looks like the Red Tusk dudes are, are pissed off too. Let's see. Hey, these guys are nice. Ah, here's some iron. All right, so... My aim kind of sucks. Not going to deny it. Not ashamed of it. I'm a pistol guy, not a not a bone arrow guy. Looks like we've got more than a couple pieces of iron around here, which is nice. I believe you may have just discovered why I like desert planets right there, because if you start mining on something and it's in sand, the sand falls down, it doesn't suffocate you. And it pretty much opens up any any loose ores that are in the sand. Looks like we got a little bit of a cave down there. This is marked as sand, but this is like wet sand. So it doesn't, um, oh. Some more meat. Yeah, so it's wet sand, so it doesn't fall like the dry sand does. 
Jeez, we really need to upgrade this pick. Oh, 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 what do we got here? Hello. Freaking monkey thing coming at me. I know I'm not saying a lot, and I know that makes for bad video, but I'm just really enjoying the music. Once we, we really need to get, you know, we, we really need to get our fuel reserves up. So that we can go to some of the better planets. And maybe, just maybe, you know, you really don't have to do so much exploring of different planets and whatnot before you go to the bosses. I mean, I think the first couple characters that I had, I, I went through maybe half a planet before I was ready to take on the first boss, so it's not required. It's recommended, though, because, I mean, you don't want to rush through this game. It's definitely not a game that you want to rush through just because of how good it is. You want to take your time and you want to have fun with it. Also, at this time, there is no quote-unquote end game. So, there's really no point to rushing through because you, there, there is no end. I mean, you can beat, beat all the bosses and whatnot, but... Yeah, so supposedly, or I haven't, I haven't tried this yet, but um, it says that you can cook the glass in the smelter to make, uh, or the sand in the smelter to make glass. It makes sense. And there's also rumors of a super manipulator, which can supposedly, um, like, just like the matter manipulator, only it does four by four instead of two by two. And does it really quickly? There's rumors of that, and uh, I, I'm not sure if you know the people are saying, "Oh no, it's real, it's real, it's real," yada yada yada. But I've yet to see it on any of the servers that I've been on. Go on, gar grab. Oh, it's grab is his is his ability. They recently added a ton. Oh, oh. Hold on, red dude. I didn't mean to piss you off. Alright, so we're on the ground. Oh, hello, nurse. Boom, just like that. Just like that, and it's all ours. Hopefully this doesn't drop the roof on us. Nope. Okay, good. Lots of coal. This is good. Lots of coal and some iron over here too, which is really nice. You know, I I am definitely not an expert on this game in any way, shape, or form. Oh, I just heard an explosion. I don't think that was for me. Do the enemies above, like, do the enemy or the the NPC creatures now fight each other? Whoa! Whoa! Meteor shower! Oh, we got ourselves a Florin lady. Find it interesting. Okay, so yeah, they weren't fighting. That was a flipping meteor shower. I've, I've not seen that. Yeah, I had yet to see a meteor shower. So that was kind of interesting. 
MRB first, ladies and gentlemen. Grab a little bit more coal. We're at about a half an hour now, and I, I, I hate that we didn't really get much done in here except going to uh, another planet. Which I know doesn't make for the most exciting of, of YouTube videos, but... It's a little bit of progress. We got ourselves a new weapon, new shield. Well, we had the shield. We got it off of that glitch guy in the other, on the other planet. The friggin' rhino dude's like, dur, 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 dur. Hey guys. Beam up. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, on that note, we're going to cut it off. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell everyone you know. If uh, you like what you see, let me know what you want me to do, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.